Hello everyone, welcome back. This is KJ4YZ. You're watching Ham Radio Concepts. Click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, because everybody says they don't know when videos are posted until they go looking. You gotta turn the notifications on and it'll email you and say, hey Eric's got a new video. Anyways, Gigaparts was kind enough to lend me all of the Rig Expert series of antenna analyzers in their collection, and I'm gonna make a video on almost every one of them and show you for those who are interested or need to know which antenna analyzer they need. Rig Expert has some of the best, and Gigaparts is kind enough to give all my viewers watching this video a 5% coupon on any Rig Expert product. Look in the link below to go to the store at Gigaparts, and on the top of the page, there's a 5% discount, and you can get one of these courtesy of Gigaparts with a 5% savings. Thank you, my buddies Gigaparts, for helping all my friends out on YouTube. Today, we have, continuing on on, this, on the uh, series here, this is the AA600 by Rig Expert. Now, notice the the previous one I did was the AA35 zoom, and it had uh, DC to 35 megahertz of coverage with a zoom function. This is their original traditional green model. It doesn't have the zoom, but it now covers from DC or like 50 kilohertz, 100 kilohertz, all the way up to 600 megahertz. So you can do VHF and UHF with this, and it's got a little bit of a different display than the AA35. So let's check this out from Rig Expert, the AA600. Ham Radio Concepts is brought to you by HamRadioPrep.com. It's never been easier to learn about Ham Radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit HamRadioPrep.com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, HamRadioPrep.com. Now, a little different design. This one does have an end connector up top because it will do the higher frequencies if you were unaware. Using a SO239 or PL259 is usually for HF, maybe VHF low band, but when you get up into UHF, you want to have a lower loss connector for more accurate results, and that's why they put an N on there, but they do give you an adapter. So, this one also has a different battery compartment that this takes three AA batteries, not two. And you can use rechargeable, but I would get high quality rechargeable or high quality Duracell or Alkaline batteries. Now this one does come with a case a little different than the AA35. This one comes with the blue case, which will keep it better out in the, the conditions and the elements. When you got guys at field day punching buttons with dirty hands, this will keep your antenna analyzer clean and free of debris. Now in the box, uh, they do give you a manual. This manual, like some of the, the Zoom models have a more color illustrated manual. This one's just got more of a black and white, but it does show you everything in here that you will need like Smith charts and all kinds of stuff. Again, with more money and more range comes more uh, features in this versus the lower ones. So the manual, you can read through that. Now, uh, it does come with all three of the batteries that you need to use this thing, okay? It does come with the strap for that case so you can hang around your neck at field day if you want. Uh, it does come with, oh wow, now this is new. This is new. Okay, and this is new to me because when I checked out a couple of these back in the day, okay, cool. They give you rechargeable batteries and the charger, the super quick charger that will do nickel metal hydride or nickel cadmium, double A or triple A size. That's really cool. So you can actually, you'll never have to buy batteries for this, okay? That was uh, something, I didn't even open these boxes, guys. We tear this apart together. And this is why an unboxing deserves something like this. So you can see, did not know. And they do give you uh, different countries, you know, adapters here for the charging plugs. So you have American or, you know, UK or Europe or whatever you call that, okay? A USB cable, why? Because these Rig Expert antenna analyzers are able to connect to your computer via USB, so you can do these maps and plots on your computer in the field or at home when you're building your own antennas. Think about this, do you think that someone like, shout out to DX Commander, Callum in the UK, DX Commander, do you think that he just wings it and says, well, I'm gonna build this antenna and I'm gonna make you use a tuner because I don't, I don't check the parameters, no. People that build antennas and coax stubs and matching networks, they use an antenna analyzer, not an antenna tuner, okay? That's why it's important to make the best of your antenna with an antenna analyzer. So that's what it comes with. I'm gonna throw these couple batteries in here real quick, and we're gonna show you what this thing will do, uh, the different ways quickly of testing SWR, and I do have to connect to this for demonstration, my Chameleon m 2.0, which is out back, field deployable antenna. I'm gonna set that up just so I have something on top here to show you, and I don't see, yes, there's the adapter. I did say it came with an adapter, and there it is. So, 
If you want to use it for an N cable or N to SO239, they give you everything you need, guys. Okay, let's check out the antenna real quick and show you just a couple features on how this works. Okay, so when you turn it on, you get a different kind of display compared to like uh, the color zoom or the AA35. That's okay. Still looks easy to read in certain different lighting conditions. It's kind of like a bluish monochrome display. Not bad, but a lot of features on this. I'm going to try to touch on the most important ones to make the video quick. So I have my AA, my um, MPAS 2.0 connected, and I'm going to first go to scan SWR number four. Okay. Now what you do is you, this is how fast you can set this up. You can go to frequency and choose the center frequency, which I did. Now I can go to range number three, 175 kilohertz. So it's pretty much going to sweep the entire 20 meter band and you hit start and watch. It's going to start drawing it on a plot and graph it and show you across the entire band. It's just about 2.0, 2.0 .0 to one. 2 to 1 SWR and then you can go left and right and you can see as you move the arrow on the bottom you can see the uh, the frequency up top and then what the corresponding SWR is but if you want more than that you can actually choose to sweep multiple bands let's say you want to sweep um, let's go back here and we're gonna go to scan SWR again for and I'm gonna freak uh, uh, center frequency would be 20 so we'll do 7 to 28 we'll do 40 uh, let's let's try this range we're going to do 20 megahertz worth of sweeping and start now watch it's going to sweep a lot now you can watch the frequency up here and i can go right here's 40 meters uh, i'm sorry um do this again i go talking and then i'll go looking okay that's uh 17 meters here right uh So you can change the step size, but somewhere there. Then you want to go down to uh, 30 meters, 10 megahertz. Okay. And then you can see the SWR. And you can do it that way. Here's another way of doing it. Cancel. And we go to show SWR number seven. Hit start. Now that will give you a just a very basic uh, real-time display of the SWR at the frequency that you chose. Okay. And if you want to change that frequency, you can go like this. We can go down to 30 meters, right about 30 meter PSK, which is somewhere around, somewhere around here, I think. And that's 2.6 to 1 SWR. Or this is the best part. Watch this. You hold the F button. You see, you see that the function button and the, and the blue down here shows you dual action buttons here. So you hold function, you hit 7 for multi. Now, you have a multi, let's see, function, hold on, function, let's see, cancel, function, seven, there you go. Now, if I wanted to see five SWRs in real time at one time for five different bands, I could do it here, and that required me to set this up, so let's see, the first one will hit enter, let's see, stop, multi, Okay, and then we'll go frequency. So the first frequency we'll do 14 to 25. No, frequency 0, 1, 4, 2, 2, 5. Then the next one we'll do frequency 0, 28, 400. Next one we'll do frequency 0, 1, 8, 1, 4, 5. Just three for now, just to show you. And we'll hit OK. And there you go. It shows you the SWR of 20, 10, and 17. 1.9, 2.4, 1.6, all at the same time. That is pretty cool right here. Okay. So if you have a you know trapped uh, trapped vertical or a multi-band dipole and you want to see, you know, sometimes different analyzers you get a calibrate. That little nano VNA I have is is cool. But it's nothing like this because I gotta switch the loads and calibrate open short load every time to change frequencies. And this one I can shoot, you know, shoot five of them at one time. Okay, that's pretty neat. You could also do other stuff here. If I go back and I go to uh, PC mode, I could set um, this to connect to USB and do all this. But let's go to Smith chart. One more here. Smith chart five. There's your Smith chart. 
And if you set that up, which I haven't done yet, it will show you a Smith chart of your antenna operation right here on the screen. You can get that on the PC side as well. So this antenna analyzer for the, uh, the money that you pay for it and what you're expecting. Here we go, number five. We can check the uh, return loss or the reactance and the resistance uh, or uh, whatever R and X is. So on here, you can check the different values for reactance and uh, resistance right here on the, uh, the, the graph at the same time. Okay, so you can do that. This, this antenna has quite a bit of stuff. And we'll hit show all number eight. Watch this. Shows you everything. The impedance, the reactance, the SWR, the return loss, the resistance, the inductance, uh, everything. I mean, stuff that I don't even know what um, nano Henry's are for L2 and R2, but you know, it's there. If you need to check your antenna out, the information's right there. Pretty fun stuff, guys. If you want an antenna analyzer from Rig Expert that will do up to 600 megahertz to cover all your HF, even CB radio, GMRS, UHF, marine band, uh, 220, all that stuff can be covered, even public safety and more, from this device right here, including your hand bands at a multi-SWR level. Right here, the AA600 is the way to go. Let's check out more of these Rig Expert antenna analyzers and check out the description below for the link for the discount code on the Rig Expert page at Gigaparts. 73 everyone, this is KJ4YZI.